Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you are new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with the friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and a big shout out to the person that suggested this. I wish I could get your names, but I always forget, and it's just too much work. But thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And I'm going to be doing this video in three parts because it's long, so without wasting time, let's get into the video. In Bismillah. Thousands of years ago, there was a wonderful, righteous family known as the family of Imran. In some traditions outside the Quran, Imran was known as Saint Joachim or Joachim. And his wife was known as Saint Anne or Anna. You might find different names here and there, but just a quick reference. So Al Imran, the family of Imran, such righteous family, people who love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, great servants even to the people, very helpful, very supportive. One day Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala willed that the wife of Imran, she became pregnant. And when she became pregnant, she made a promise to Allah. She said, A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim I begin by seeking Allah's refuge from the devil. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah. We say that before we start reading the ayat. She said, Rabbi inni nadartu laka ma fi batani muharrara. O oh Allah, I dedicate whatever is in my womb. This baby I have here, Ya Allah, I will dedicate it entirely just for you to worship you, and to provide service in the holy temple. في بيت المقدس. So what's the two things? I want to dedicate that baby to grow and worship you, Allah, alone, and to help and to serve people in the place of worship. فتقبل مني. Oh Allah, please help me do that to my child. Ya Allah, help me be the best possible mother. And the best mothers in the world are the ones who teach their kids la ilaha illallah. May Allah make our mothers, our sisters, our daughters of such caliber. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. Innaka anta al alim. She said, oh Allah, God, you hear my request. You hear my begging and you know my intention. And her time of pregnancy continues. She was hoping, brothers and sisters, to have that child to grow, to be as righteous as possible. Some narrations said that her husband, Imran, passed away before the delivery and Allah knows best. And eventually, as the pregnancy and the stomach got bigger and bigger and the due date approached, contractions began. And what happened? She delivered. When she delivered the baby, she said, Oh Allah, oh my God, it's a girl. She's talking to Allah. She had that connection, that relationship with Allah, that she would talk to him, she would to vent to him. Then she said, Allah says in the Quran, And Allah knows exactly what was the gender of the baby. And God says, the male is not like the female. There are some things the male can do, which the female cannot do. And there are things which the female can do and the male cannot do. Some the, the genders have special qualities. Maryam. And oh Allah, this baby, I named her Maryam. And ya Allah, I beg you. I want to make a request from you right from the get-go. What is it? What do you think she will pray to Allah to do to that child? What's the first request she has right now? Oh Allah, protect my baby from shaitan. Ya Allah, protect my baby from the devil. The devil who tries to poke every baby and disturb them in every possible way. All the way till they meet God. Ya Allah, protect my daughter. Not just my daughter, Maryam. And her progeny, وَذُرِّيَّتَهَا And her children. And whoever she has in her descendants, protect them all. مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ The accursed devil. And right then and there, brothers and sisters, Allah protected Maryam alayhi salam. The Prophet alayhi salatu was salam. Look what he said. He said, 
كُلُّ مَوْلُودِ Every baby that is born, shaytan tries to poke them, tries to disturb them. You see how evil he is? Even to the cutest beings, the babies, they are not saved from his harm, from his influence. But the Prophet wasallam said, but he could not disturb Maryam alayhi salam. May Allah protect me and my children and all those who are watching and their children from the shaytan. Ameen rabbal alameen. The mother of Maryam, did she fulfill the promise? Some of us, we say, Wallahi, I swear to God, when I become a millionaire, I will donate this and that. You became a millionaire. Now what? Are you donating? Huh? Let's see Maryam, the mother of Maryam. When she got the baby, she kept her promise. Yes, what was her promise? I will grow this child. I will nurture this child. I will teach this child the worship of Allah and devout her completely to Allah and to the service of the people that love Allah. Brothers and sisters, Allah says, فَتَقَبَّلَهَا رَبُّهَا بِقَابُولٍ حَسَنٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He accepted Maryam graciously with love and kind. وَأَنْبَتَهَا نَبَاتًا حَسَنًا And Maryam alayhi salam, Allah blessed her. She's growing such a great upbringing. May Allah make our children righteous. Say ameen. Ameen. And as Maryam started to get older, she was special. It was clear. She is special. The way she worships Allah, the way she respects her mom, the way she deals with the people with adab, respect, high character. Her mother, brothers and sisters, started to look for teachers, coaches, universities, huh? to take care of the growth of Maryam alayhi salam. You might say, man, she's uh, pushing for this. No, don't complain about that. That's one of the greatest pushing a parent can ever do to a child to learn more about the religion, to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We live at times where we celebrate when a parent takes their young child to soccer practice and football practice and baseball and this and that from a young age and people praise the parents for their patience and the mileage they drive all the way to other cities for some sports, nothing against that. But how could we not celebrate the greatest training, the greatest sport, the greatest act which is the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Maryam alayhi salam, peace be upon her. She was exceptional. The mother of Maryam did not go begging people who will take care of my daughter, who will sponsor her. La, the people were begging the mother of Maryam. Can you please allow us to sponsor your daughter? Can you please uh, be the university that gives her a full ride scholarship? And they were fighting over her. Naam, they were fighting. يختصمون. Allah says in the Quran, they were arguing, who will take care of Maryam? I will take care of Maryam. No, I will take care of Maryam. They're fighting. It got so tough, so intense that they were drawing lots. They were drawing lots, throwing pens, and then making uh, one narration says that a young boy will pick up the pen. Any pen he picks up, the owner of the pen will be the one who cares for Maryam. Of course, the people who did that, they were the scholars, people are worthy to take care of Maryam alayhi salam. When who did God will to be the caretaker? Do you know who took care of Maryam? Who won? Who was it? Ahsantum. May Allah bless you. Some of you, I believe they got it right. Wakafalaha Zakariya. It was a prophet of Allah, Zakariya alayhi salam, the one who took care of Maryam. Ya Allah, Bismillah. What did he do? He took such great care of Maryam that he built her a mihrab, a sanctuary. He built her a place of worship around the holy temple and Bayt al-Maqdis. It's like Maryam has her own gym, right? That's how special she was. We build you this thing just for you. And he provided her with all the food, nutrition, any necessities for her to survive, to educate, to grow, to learn more about the religion. And imagine her teacher is a prophet of God. Brothers and sisters, she learned more about God. Her worship to Allah increased. He's on a whole other level. May Allah bless us, make you and I steadfast. Say, Ameen. Ameen Rabbil Alameen. She would perhaps fast some days 
when people may be, you know, busy doing things like that. Some stuff are good that they're doing, but her worship to Allah was at a whole other level. At night, when people might be sleeping, nothing wrong with sleeping. She takes it to the next level. She worships Allah at night, a whole other level. May Allah increase our level. Say, I mean, Allah can increase your faith. And the more you hear about great people, the more your faith increases, God willing. God, Allah praised Maryam. Wow, what did he, what did he praise about her? Look what he says. Mary, the daughter of Imran. She was someone who was beautiful inside and outside. She was beautiful. And without a doubt, you know, men were all around. Very interesting video. I also love, um, I really love stories that talk about things that maybe we don't even have information to because I'm um, curious but before we get to that um it's all about devotion how devoted you are to something and how consistent you are going to be that's why he gave an example that's very true how many of us said if i pass my exams i would dedicate my entire life after graduation to god but we don't do it there's don't feel of course feel bad but if you're watching this then you can still change things around let's lean towards meaning what we say if if i say um telling the truth concerning uh maybe how many maybe how many points i got in a in an exam then let me just say the truth why should i lie why should i hide the truth let your intentions be um be truthful Otherwise, God is going to forgive us if we ask for forgiveness other way, otherwise. But let's just mean what we say to God when we say, God, give me this. I'll do this in return. I'll devote myself to you. Then devote yourself to God. It doesn't mean 24-7. You can still go out there, work, do whatever you have to do. But always rem remember him in, it, in your daily um, routine. Another thing I was amazed by, surprised by, is... Um, people wanting to take care of Mary that's something new that's something I've never heard and it's just very intriguing so if you guys have videos or websites where I can read the uh, full story of that feel free to recommend them in the comment section below and I'll be more than glad to read them <music>